Hi guys! Today's Friday and that means Friday Reads! I have filmed this video three times and it's been the tech day from hell so hopefully this one just works and does what it's supposed to. Because of the humongous technical difficulties I have faced I will be combining two videos. So this will be my Friday Reads and my TBR for the Rereadathon, hosted by Aoife from Fred Weasley Died Laughing, and I'll go more in depth on the Rereadathon when I get to my planning on reading section because that's where it's most relevant. With all that being said, let's just jump on into what I actually read the previous week. I finished Ink Death by Cornelia Funk. This is the third book in the Ink Hat trilogy and it was amazing. I absolutely love this series. It is in my top 10 trilogies of all time. It was amazing. Obviously, I can't go too in depth in this because it's the third book in the trilogy, but it's so good. I think everyone should read this trilogy. The way that it wrapped up was just so beautifully done and magical. I loved it. One of the characters that I really really wanted to punch in the face did get their comeuppance but it wasn't uh, it wasn't as harsh as I wanted it to be. But yeah, all in all everything turned out great and wonderful and I'm just super happy with this trilogy. It was so good. Next I finished Heatwave by Richard Castle. As I stated in my previous Friday Reads, this is a book that's tied in with the TV show Castle. I enjoyed this book. The story wasn't that great. It was definitely more character driven and that makes sense because of the characters are based on real life characters from the TV show. I do have the second book on audio so I'll give that a go. There are a whole heap of these but honestly as a book collection that you want to keep and read and all that stuff it was a little bit more on the kitschy side I guess. But I'll give the second one a go. As soon as I finished this I had to re-watch the first season of Castle because of reasons and all the in-jokes within this book and within the TV show that all tie in together. It was fun. Then I finished Aragon by Christopher Paolini, the first book in the Inheritance Cycle series. This book was good, I enjoyed it, but it was very very dense. There was so much world building within this book. It made complete sense for it to be there and it wasn't bad world building. It was just at times you wanted the story to actually move along more but for that to happen you need something in the world needed explaining and uh, so yeah there was that. Also Aragorn was a really whiny character to read from. It makes sense because he's young and he's been sheltered, he's only known being brought up on a farm his whole life and then this whole world opens up for him and he has no clue what's going on. So it does make sense but sometimes she just wanted to say, dude, shut up, just go with it. Answers will become apparent. So yeah. <laughs> I did like it and I am going to carry on with the series. That is all I read last week. So now on to what I'm currently reading. I am currently reading Mouse by Art Spiegelman. I only just started it to be fair, you know. I am liking this graphic novel so far but obviously the story hasn't really developed that much because I'm not that far into it. I am liking the way that the story is being told. Art uh, actually asking his father what happened from his point of view within the war. I liked that you got to see his dad's crazy girlfriend before he actually met his mum and all that went down. So yeah, I'm excited to continue reading this. I'm also currently reading Eldest by Christopher Paolini, book two in the Inheritance Cycle. Again, I'm enjoying this. I'm only a few chapters in so nothing major has happened yet but as with Aragon it is still kind of dense so I 
just needed a break from it last night and I picked up a different book because I just needed a little something. And that little something was Magnus Chase and the Sword of Summer. I've already read The Hammer of Thor and I read it again immediately afterwards. So I wanted to give this one a reread because I needed some comedic relief and Magnus Chase is very funny. As with most of Rick Ryden's characters, but I had this one close to hand, so I picked up this one. I'm also currently reading An Ember in the Ashes by Sabata here. I'm buddy reading this with Christy of What Christy's Reading, links in the thing. I'm only a little way through this, it hasn't really got to the meat of the story yet. It's just at the point where you're learning a little bit of backstory from each character and Elias is being a little bit of a whiny bitch. That's pretty much where I'm at with this so far. <laughs> now for the fun stuff. What I'm planning on reading. This will be the portion of the video where I tell you my TBR for the re-readathon hosted by Aoife of Fred Weasley Died Laughing. This re-readathon is being held from the 6th to the 13th of November. There are some challenges within this re-readathon, so I shall tell you about them now. Challenge number one, reread a childhood favourite. Challenge number two, reread a book you gave five stars to. Challenge number three, reread a book and give it a second chance. Challenge number four, reread a book from a series. And challenge number five, reread a total of three books. I am combining two of the challenges because I felt like it. I am combining challenge one and challenge four, reread a childhood favourite and reread a book in a series. I chose Book 7 of the Making Out series by Catherine Applegate. If you've been here for a while, you will know that I talk about this series a lot. I'm not going to go into a massive thing about this series, except it's amazing. When I did get the whole series, I planned on doing a whole massive read through because it's like 28 books and I was reading one to two books a month and then that totally fell by the wayside so this was the perfect challenge for me to actually go no get back to this for challenge two reread a book you gave five stars to i technically could be using magnus chase for this but i thought i'd just go ahead and do a little bit of something different so i chose stormfront by jim butcher the first book in the dresden file series this is an absolute amazing urban fantasy series everybody should read it and then get back to me because it's awesome. For challenge three, reread a book and give it a second chance. I possibly may cheat on this one, all depending on time. Because I am currently rereading An Ember in the Ashes by Sabata here and I didn't particularly like it the first time round, I could technically use this book. But I also picked Sylvia Plath, The Bell Jar, because I read it when I was a lot younger and I didn't understand some of the content and I've completely forgotten what this entire book is about and I've needed to reread it for like ever. I just haven't picked it up. So all depending on time, I will choose between An Ember in the Ashes or The Bell Jar. And challenge five, read a total of three books. Technically I'm fine, I have three books to read, but I wanted to throw an extra in there just for good measure. <laughs> And the book that I've chosen is The Red Pyramid by Rick Ryden, the first book in the Kane Chronicles series. I chose this one because I have reread the Percy Jackson series umpteen times. I have reread the Heroes of Olympus series several times. I am on my second read through with the Magnus Chase series. I've never reread this series and I want to because it's a good trilogy. I just haven't done it yet and I need to show it the love that it deserves. That is my full TBR for the rereadathon. Links to Christie's channel and Aoife's channel will be in the information box down below. Also I'll write down the challenges in there as well. That's everything that I have for you today guys. If you like this video don't forget to give it that all important thumb. 
Leave a comment down below, tell me if you're joining in on the rereadathon or what is your favourite book or series to reread. As always, the t-shirt I'm wearing today is this one. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later. Bye! Second, no. <laughs> My hands are so cold. <sighs> Whew. I'm surprised you can't actually see my breath. It's so cold. <laughs> and we're done.